In today's video, we are going to configure DNAT or destination NAT on an edge router to only allow traffic coming from a specific remote network. Okay, in this example, which is actually a real world example, this is how we bring in guests into our live stream from a remote location using SRT or Secure Reliable Transport. This graphic is actually from an SRT live stream that was done a few months back. The idea is to get the traffic from network A, the remote network, over to network B, the destination network, without using traditional port forwarding where you're opening up, let's say, port 5003 to the entire world. So we're going to use DNAT. I'm going to show you how to create a DNAT rule in the edge router to achieve this goal. And we're going to lock down the traffic so that we're only going to allow traffic from network A, the remote network. Okay, I'm signed into the Edge Router. It's an Edge Router Model 6P. It's running firmware version 2.0.9 Hotfix 6, and it is currently up to date with the latest firmware. We're in the Firewall NAT tab, and I'm under the Firewall Policy sub tab. And the first thing we're going to do is add a rule to the WAN in rule set. So we'll come over to the Actions drop down and click on Edit Rule Set. We're going to click on Add New Rule. And we're going to call this rule allow port 5003. We're going to accept. We're going to select the protocol UDP because for this example, I know the traffic is UDP. Then we're going to come up to destination and under port, we're going to say 5003. Click save and wait for the edge router to apply the rule. Now that the rule has been created and applied, we need to just move it up above the drop invalid state rule and then click on save rule order. The second thing we need to do now is create the actual destination NAT rule. You can see now here I'm in the firewall NAT tab and we're gonna come over and click on add destination NAT rule. We'll give it a description, and again, I'm going to call it Allow Port 5003. We're going to make sure that it is enabled, and then we're going to select the inbound interface, and this is going to be your WAN interface. And for me, this is PPPoE0. It might be something else for you, like EAT0, so make sure you choose the proper interface. Under Translations, the translation address is the address of the device on your internal network that you want the traffic forwarded to. So for me, it's that SRT decoder. And the port we want it forwarded to is 5003. Again, we're going to select UDP because we know that it's UDP traffic. Under the source address, this is the source address of the remote network. So here you would put the IP address of that remote network. So for now, for example purposes, I'm gonna do 1.2.3.4. It's not an actual address, but it's only for the purpose of this video. Then we're gonna come down to the destination area and we're gonna say destination port 5003. And then under interface address, again, we're going to pick our WAN address. And again, for me, it's PPPoE. It could be something other for you. Once you have all of this in place, go ahead and click Save. And now you have your destination NAT rule. You can see it says allow port 5003, the source address from where the traffic is coming from, the destination of where it's arriving, which is your WAN interface, and then sending it to the internal device on your network. Okay, so there you have a real world example on how to limit or only allow traffic from a specific remote network into your network using destination NAT. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And if you like the video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out other videos that I have listed here up above. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share this video. And I want to thank you, as I do in every video, for using the Amazon affiliate links. 
I know they don't change your price, but they do help out the channel. Once again, my name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, please stay safe. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.